We've taken a look at a lot of beautiful decks here on this channel, decks with deep lore and intricate aesthetics that truly engage and inspire the imagination. But some decks can do more than just make us think. Some decks can actually make us feel. I love the TV show Mad Men that was on AMC a few years ago. The main character Don Draper said something once that's pretty relevant. There's the rare occasion when the public can be engaged on a level beyond Flash. If they have a sentimental bond with the product. My first job, I was in-house at a fur company with this old pro copywriter, Greek, named Teddy. Teddy told me that the most important idea in advertising is new. It creates an itch. But he also talked about a deeper bond with the product. Nostalgia. It's delicate, but potent. Teddy told me that in Greek, nostalgia literally means the pain from an old wound. It's a twinge in your heart far more powerful than memory alone. It goes backwards and forwards, and it takes us to a place where we ache to go again. How the hell does an inanimate object make you feel something? This deck, the Bicycle Wind-Up deck, takes you on a journey forwards and backwards like a carousel. And it reminds me of a beautiful place that, unfortunately, I can never go back to. But one that I do hope I can show my future kids someday. The Bicycle Wind-Up deck was produced by Spade & Company. That's right, four A's in Spade, meant perhaps to represent the four aces of the deck. The cards were printed by the United States Playing Card Company, and the deck is built around a singular motif, the wind-up toy. Now, some of you watching this, especially those born in more recent times, might have never actually owned a wind-up toy. I mean, by today's standards where kids play with smartphones every day, it's really kind of an archaic technology. Really, it's even before my time. But I do remember owning one or two and cranking the little brass key until the grinding gear sounds made it feel like it was gonna break right before the tension gets let out and the toy goes kind of scuttling about. I bought a couple of these things, they're really loud, out of nostalgia and because I thought they'd make a fun deck review and I gotta say, it was really quite the throwback. The tuck box is matte red printed onto a base white cardstock. The front of the box features bicycle branding at the top in yellow, the words wind up quality playing cards at the bottom, and an image of the traditional brass winding key jutting out of the keyhole. All of these features are embossed. The sides of the box feature the copy Wind to Move on one side and Move to Wind on the other. The bottom has the traditional ad copy and the Spade and Company logo. The top of the box reads classic wind-up toys playing cards. The tongue flap also has some additional copyright info. The back of the box features the embossed image found on the card backs, two mirrored wind-up keys with a small yellow keyhole in the center. The cards were designed by Korean artist Hwan Uk Cho, I think that's how you say that, who I believe goes by the moniker Hanuku. The art style is irreverently quirky and timeless. There's a real children's book quality to it that makes me remember fonder days. And honestly, it fits the themes very nicely and the cards are beautiful. Taking the cards out from the tuck box, you immediately notice the simple poker border surrounding the red field on the cards that gives the deck a tidy appearance. They are completely custom cards. The index font is bold and highly legible. The pips have a hand illustrated feel that includes some dimensional shading and their placement is quirky and unpredictable. Some pips have the illusion of being extruded outwards like pegs in a board, while some look like empty holes where those pegs once lived. To further amplify the idiosyncrasies of the spot cards, almost every card has a modified pip that's been anthropomorphized somehow, with little legs or eyes or propellers. Some of these standouts include the Four of Hearts balloon pip, the Five of Spades penguin, and my absolute favorite, the symbol playing monkey on the four of clubs, which of course looks familiar. The wind-up deck is not technically a transformation or semi-transformation deck, but I guess you could say it does definitely have some transformational vibes to it. The cardstock isn't white either, but rather an off-white color that implies age, another brilliant choice in keeping with the motif. In the box you'll find a double backer and a spade ad card with the company logo in the shape of a wind-up toy. 
and two nearly identical jokers featuring what looks like a two-way image of a jester riding a colorful cart being pulled along by a pajama-wearing king. Just absolutely wild stuff. Anyway, the only difference seems to be that on one joker, the king wears the crown, even as he's being whipped onward, and in the other, the jester's taken it for himself and holds it aloft. The art on these is just simply fantastic, and really it only gets better. The aces are spectacular. All of them represent a carnival amusement park ride. Trains, ferris wheels, merry-go-rounds, and the level of detail is just amazing. The courts are just as brilliant, the jacks represent spaceships and rockets, the identifying soup pip on each textured to look like the moon in the case of the spades and clubs, and Mars in the case of the diamonds and hearts. The queens feature women riding atop different animals, the pips for these take on the appearance of big top circus tents. And finally the kings which feature men riding various motor vehicles with the pips here taking on the function of traffic lights. A nice little attention to detail was made by having the red spotlights lit up on the hearts and diamonds, whilst the spades and club pips have green for go. As far as aesthetics, the cards look fantastic, and thanks to the USPCC crushed bicycle stock, they feel fantastic too. The cards feature a modern cut. Pharaohs and fans are a breeze, springs and flourishes look great, and the red backs with white borders actually give the deck a nice look for cardistry, despite not really being the intended purpose of these cards. The deck is also of course great for gameplay, and I think kids would obviously love them. The cards are still available on PlayingCardDecks.com, and if you use the promo code GENTLEMAN10, you can get 10% off your entire order, not just these cards. But if you want a chance to own a copy of this deck for free, you need to follow these easy steps. Like the video, subscribe to this channel, and comment below letting me know what nationality Teddy is and which custom pip was my favorite. And you'll be entered in a drawing to win a bicycle windup deck directly from me. Also, congratulations to Shane Pryor for winning the Jaspis Deck Favorite Day Edition giveaway. Send me a PM Shane to claim your prize. Thanks for watching, and please hit that bell down there to the right to be notified every time I post a new video. I'm the Gentleman Wake, see you next time.